Miami, Florida, home of the Dolphins, is our site for this matchup between Pittsburgh and St. Louis. And now to Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth for the game. Tom? We couldn't have asked for better weather in this one as we get set for tonight's game. Good evening, everyone. Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth here. And we're underway. Well, the time has finally arrived after weeks of anticipation. Thanks for joining us at the Super Bowl. This is going to be a great one. Chris, I know you're excited to be here. Yeah, I really couldn't be happier to be a part of this one. It is such a great event. It's been going on all week. It's a celebration of professional football, and I am ecstatic to be a part of it. On the ground with a tailback. He took a shot at the 30. Young comes away with two yards on the carry. Boy, he just took a shot on that one as a running back. The last thing in the world you want is a short gain and a big hit. Let's go! And he will lose yardage on the play. The offensive line didn't get much of a push on that play, and the runner was stuffed. Well, that's what happens when defensively you get every gap covered. There is simply nowhere to go with the football. No chance for the running back that time. Roger, Roger, Roger. Dre's live, Dre's live. Looks to pass. Passes the ball. Tackled around the 37-yard line. Good play that time, but not quite enough. He'll wind up just short of the first. Pretty good-looking play that time on third and long and almost picked up the first down. I like the decision. The quarterback got the ball out. His playmaker was able to make a play. Came up just a little short. He gets it away. And they make the fair catch. They line up at the 27. The Steelers come out in the ace formation. They hand it off. The defender gets him to the ground. He just didn't have a whole lot of blocks to work with on the counter. And you have to be able to get that counter play going. When the penetration gets there and it forces those offensive linemen to go back just a little bit deeper, it throws off the timing of the entire play. Here's the give. He tries to spin and he is dropped. Looked for a seam, but he wasn't able to find anything. And let's give credit to the defense. They had a great push there. They got in the backfield, took control of their own gaps. Blue 38. Blue 38. Looking to throw. Goes middle. Cuts back and he's dropped. Still not quite enough, however. They'll still be facing fourth down. Hall is back awaiting the punt. He gets it away. Hall takes it at the 33. He got everything he could, but there really wasn't much there. Yeah, he really didn't have much of a chance at all to make anything happen there. I mean, I, I know this guy's a dangerous punt return guy, but you can't do it on your own. That's right. I need one more favor. Here's the halfback. He's dropped around the 34-yard line. Young gets about a yard on the play. Second and nine. On the gun. Come on, man, let's go. Make a stand, G. Touch. I am. 48. 48. Scatter, scatter, scatter. He's looking to throw. Goes wild on the run. Brought down at the 46-yard line. Nice little pitch and catch with the wideout. Patience for a wide receiver is just so key. He's able to manipulate that defense, set him up one play, come back with the exact same look and break off of it the next. Beautifully run. Throws it short. And he catches it. Tackled at the 48-yard line. He delivered a nice throw on that drop back, completing it for a pretty good gain. You know, there aren't many guys who work any harder than this guy, both in the offseason and during the week of practice. He isn't the most physically gifted 
gifted quarterback I've ever seen, but you can tell the time he puts in in the film room, in the weight room, and he understands the game of football. Passes to his left. There for the reception. And they get him at the 39-yard line. And a great pass by the quarterback to convert for the first. And what we're seeing out of this quarterback is a variety of throws. Yes, he has the ability to zip it in there when he needs to, but we've also seen some touch throws, a very complete repertoire. He'll get it again. Brought down around the 39-yard line. They got little there. The defense did a nice job there jamming the running back, bringing the outside linebacker on a blitz. Sometimes those outside backers are a little more athletic and can really help stop the run. Let's go. Hey, watch the screen. Looks to pass. He needs to get the pass off. Tipped away. Young wasn't able to bring it in. Incomplete pass on the play. They line up at the 39. Overwatch, red man. St. Louis comes out with three receivers in the shotgun. Blue 45. Back to pass. Surveys the field. Comes down with it. He's dropped right around the 32-yard line. And for as good of a catch as that was, this offense now has to deal with a fourth down. The punter's going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. Gets it away cleanly. Into the end zone for a touchback. They could do nothing against this defense on their previous drive. They'll start at the 20. One man in the backfield. He looks to throw on first down. Scans the field. Pass completed. Goes out of bounds at the 34. He shows no hesitation and gets it in there to get the first down. Yeah, you wouldn't hesitate either if you were standing back there in the pocket. I say the heck with it. Get it out of there fast. Let somebody else handle it for a little while. Over, over top, over top, two straight. Pittsburgh uses motion. Play it, play it. He drops back. Passes it deep to the left side. Pat it away. Probably not the best place to try to squeeze the ball into. Yeah, I think he would have needed a jackhammer to get that one in there. That was tight coverage. Fakes the run. Incomplete pass. Third down coming up after that incompletion. Third and ten coming up. Ball on the 34. Two tight ends this time as they come out in a big set. Looks to pass. On the run, he throws it. And it's completed. There was a defender right in his face that time. But that's why you do all those concentration drills as a receiver. You know you're going to catch it in a crowd. And as we always say, you're going to get hit anyway. You might as well catch it. He looks to throw on first down. Gets the pass out. With the catch. He's tackled at the 42. He made the right read on that pass. Nice play that time by the quarterback. You know, we talk about progressions and going from one receiver to the next. But this quarterback is doing a great job in the pre-snap read, knowing who the first guy will be and getting him the football. They'll throw on first down. For the catch. He's dropped in the open field. And another connection that goes for good yarding. And we really see the trust that is developing between this receiver and the quarterback. That if the quarterback has confidence that you're going to be where he thinks you're going to be, he will throw it to you more often than he'll throw it to somebody else. And that's the end of the first quarter. No score after one. From the 34-yard line. Yeah, Blue, 
Down at the 28-yard line. Jackson did a good job to get free and pick up the first. Jackson is the deep back as they line up in the eye. The halfback with the carry. Tackle at the 23. Jackson gains about five yards on the run. They line up at the 23. Come on, D, let's get off the field now. Palmer is lined up under center. They'll come out in an eye. Pittsburgh sends a man in motion. Fargo, Fargo. Looks to pass. With the pass. He's brought down at the 10. Carson Palmer is one of those guys that I think has a chance to be the very best quarterback in the league. Superior arm strength. A great leader. That knee injury set him back for a little while. But you can tell now he's getting back to form and is just playing great football. They'll throw on first down. Dumps it out right. Down at the five. Nice pass and catch on that play. That gets them a lot closer. Yep, and that's really just the way they drew that one up. You take what the defense gives, looking to move the ball efficiently downfield with intermediate passes. What you doing? Barney, Barney. What? Goes for the end zone. Caught out of bounds, incomplete. They complete the pass, but he was out of bounds when he brought it in. Yeah, that's a pretty safe throw there where only the receiver can make a play on the ball just a little too wide on that one. They might have mistimed the snap on that one. And we'll replay third down. And the quarterback's thinking, thanks a lot, guys. Now we have some heavy-duty lifting to do. Looks to pass. Dropped an easy one, and it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. Just terrific play by the defense. They followed the quarterback's eyes, made a quick jump on the ball, and were all over that one. Right down the middle. He put that one right through the uprights. Here's a quick look at the drive summary. The kick. Hall takes it at the 12. Dropped at the 35. They were forced to punt on their last drive. First down, 10 to go. St. Louis lines up with three receivers, single back formation. Young on the inside handoff. He's tackled around the 40-yard line. The halfback gets the ball and picks up five from their own 40-yard line. The Rams come out in the ace formation. Young takes the gift. He's brought down at the 41-yard line. Young gains about a yard on the play. St. Louis lines up with three receivers, single back formation. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. They didn't have the ball long there. And three and outs are embarrassing for an offense. When you go out there and run three plays and have to go jogging back to your sideline, those defensive guys, they aren't too happy. Gets it away cleanly. Moss fields it at the 24. And they get him right around the 30-yard line. The last time they took the field, they were able to come away with three points. The Rams line up with a nickelback. Palmer drops back. He rolls out to the right. He throws left. 
And not a good throw that time. He forced it right into coverage. Well, this is a guy who's known for taking some risks, but that was an unnecessary risk there. Lucky that wasn't intercepted. Blue 38. Blue 38. Let's go. Let's go right. 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 Left. 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 Solid. Close left. Looking to throw. Looking for an open man. Completed. Defense pushes him out of bounds at the 38. Gain of seven through the air on that play. You know, that's good recognition that time by the quarterback. He saw the man-to-man -man coverage. He goes to the out route. That's pretty easy to get done. Gets the pass off. Tackled at the 45. That pass is good for a first down. And he had some zip on that one, didn't he? He reared back and threw that one about as hard as he could. The Steelers come out in a single back formation. Let's go get it, baby. Blue 38. Let's smash Blue 38. Barney, Here Barney, go, set it. Hey, hey. They give it to the tailback. He doesn't get back to the line. The offense had a tough time picking up all their blocks on that play. You know, you can draw up any sort of protection scheme and blocking scheme that you want, but ultimately this game comes down to one big man against another big man, and that time the defense's big men, they won the battle. Gets rid of the ball. It's tipped and intercepted. What a hit. I don't think he even saw that guy. Well, he looked like he was in the right place at the right time. Unless you're the quarterback, then he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Looking to throw. He throws a bullet out to his right. Excellent open field tackle. The defense didn't have a chance on that one. Great throw that time. Yeah, really not much a defense can do when you get a guy that can throw the football like that. You know, you get yourselves in position defensively. You think you're in the right spot. You're going to make a play, and a guy makes a throw like that. And you go, hey, that's a good throw. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. They better find a way to slow him down or he's going to end up breaking one big. Yeah, I think that's a really good point. How many times have we seen a back chipping away, chipping away, and then all of a sudden breaking the big one? And they'll run him again. He's brought down at the 35. A yard, maybe two, on the carry. <laughs> that was a big shot right there. You talk about getting your bell rung. That was the Liberty Bell ringing that time. And they use motion. All kinds of pressure. Pass is complete. Brought down at the 31. Gates gains about four yards there. That'll bring up third down. St. Louis using an audible. St. Louis uses motion. Drops back. Passes it out. Broken up. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense. He missed. It's short. I thought he had a shot at that one, but the ball seemed to be working against him. He'll need to just put that miss out of his head and concentrate on the next time he gets a shot. And the score remains the Rams. Nothing. The Steelers, three. Drops back on first down. Rifles it to the middle. Tackled at the 48-yard line. And a nice pass to the tight end. So much of the game today revolves around those substitution packages, trying to bring extra defensive backs on the field to try and help against the pass. But when you have a big receiving tight end, that really makes that plan awfully tough to execute. Looks down the field. Knocked down. An excellent job by the defense of disrupting that last play. And that was really on the wide receiver. Not much of a route, very little separation, and gave the defense a chance to make that play. Blue 38. Turbo, Blue 38. Turbo. 38. Go, go. Back to throw. Looking for a receiver. Hit him in the hands, but he can't hang on.
on. The defender was able to get a hand on it. And really, that came as a result of pretty physical play at the line of scrimmage. They're banging these guys around and not letting them get into their routes. He drops back. Throws it short. And it's caught. It's loose. It's picked up. To the 20. To the 10. He's in. Touchdown. This defense just turned the fumble into six points of their own. The scoop, the scoot, and he's into the end zone for the touchdown. I don't think anybody was going to have a chance to catch him there. Lining up for the point after. And the point after is good. St. Louis holds a four-point lead. Here's the kick. Moss fields it at the 13. 40 across midfield inside the 30 to the 10 he returns this one all the way touchdown what do you think about that one there is nothing more exciting in football than a kickoff return for a touchdown sometimes you can say well maybe that was a little lucky uh, -uh. that one was a great plan and they executed it the snap set down the kick is up. Pittsburgh is up two. The kick. Hall fields it at the 11. He breaks the tackle. A down at the 27. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. Let's go. Let's go. Keep playing. Drops back on first down. Catches made. He's dropped around the 34-yard line. Short pattern results in a completion for the offense. Yeah, that's not one of those plays that's a huge gain by any means, but that's really the essence of an offensive game plan. You have to start hitting some of those short, intermediate routes, and that begins to open everything else up. Three wideouts here. Looks to pass. He didn't get his feet set as he threw. He's brought down at the 45. And this receiver just loves it when the defense is in man covering. Yeah, there's no better feeling than when you're coming off the ball and you know it's just you and the guy across from you. That's just good old-fashioned football. But you also know typically when you get man coverage, your quarterback is under pressure. Hey, don't lose your bite. Oh, I know They'll bring in their dime package. He's looking to throw. With a hard throw out to his left. And he's hammered at the 39-yard line. And they'll try to speed things up a bit. Young lines up as the single back. Drops back. Gets the ball away. Tackled at about the 29-yard line. And we come to halftime here. The score at the halfway mark is the Steelers 9, the Rams 7. Not a bad kick. Moss takes it at the 12. Hit and dropped at the 34. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. Palmer lines up under center. Three receivers are split out wide. Blue 38. Blue 38. Let's go. Oh, come on. Get your hands up. Get your hands let's up up front. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Here's the give. 
He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. So a pickup of maybe three. That brings up second down from their own 37-yard line. Seven defensive backs in on this one. He's looking to throw. He steps up. The pass is away. Can't hang on. The pass was deflected and swatted away by the defender. I think the quarterback may have had to throw that ball a little sooner than he wanted to. The pressure was starting to get there. Right, 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 right. Reload. Blue 38. Blue 38. Over. Touch. Back to pass. Throws it. And he caught it. He's brought down at the 48-yard line. He gunned that one in there for the first down, didn't he? He really did. And when you watch a guy throw a ball that hard, they don't move their arm any faster. You see him driving off that back leg. That was a pretty pass. They'll keep it on the ground again. Eyes forward to about the 49. Three-yard gain by the running back. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Come on, D. Let's get off the field now. Let's go now. Let's go. Blue 38. Blue 38. Toby 32. Toby 32. Come on now. Guns it left, brings it in, and they get him at the 33. There's no question that when you talk about the classic drop back pocket passers, Carson Palmer is right there at the top of the list with the Peyton Mannings and the Tom Brady's. This guy is just going to get better and better. He is a franchise quarterback that I believe will win multiple Super Bowls before he's done. He's tackled at the 30. Three yards there. Very effective call that time by the defensive coordinator, bringing the outside linebacker a terrific way to give your defense some help in stopping the run. Come on, G. Set. Blue 38. 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 Blue Jackson gains around three yards on the counterplay. Offense facing a third and four. This is the eighth play of this drive. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Watch a hard Set. count. Blue 11. Hey, 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 Blue 11. Hey, never quit, fellas. Set. Freeze it. Set. Come on, y'all, watch those quick out. Come on, make a play. Set. They hand it off. And they didn't get it. And that will bring up a fourth down. Well, that's just a big run stop right there. You have a very proud defensive line that was just going to take control of that situation. The kick is up. And it's good. That attempt didn't look like it had a chance. Yeah, he worked that one over the bar, didn't he? You could see the body language and the tilt. He was trying to squeeze it, <laughs> and it just made a good kick. Decent kick. Fielded at the nine. They get him at the 34. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. St. Louis is going with the offset eye backfield. Here's the give. Tackled at the 37. That's four yards on the play, and that will bring up second down. It's second and six coming up. Ball on the 37-yard line. Come on, come on. Little hustle, little hustle. New call. Green 88. Green 88. Inside the 30. To the 10. He's in for the score. Great time to go to the ground, and they scored pretty easily. Yeah, the running back's always going to get the credit for the touchdown, but those guys up front were simply overpowering on that play. That back just got in behind them, and voila, touchdown. And this conversion will put them up by a field goal. One man backfield. Blue 45. Blue 45. 
Tiger, tiger, tiger! Tosses it out. Makes a move and he's in for two. Great job there. They were able to convert. And you could tell the offense had a plan throughout that drive. Not only did they get the touchdown, but they immediately got the call in for the two-point conversion. They knew exactly what they wanted to do and executed it perfectly. And they take the field again, looking to capitalize on their previous drive, which resulted in a field goal. Jackson is the deep back as they line up in the eye. He's tackled at the 41-yard line. The running back picks up six on that play. Let's go, guys. Come on. The defense is in the nickel. Get that ball back. Blue 11. Blue 11. Come sub. Stay right. Stay right. Come on. Let's go. Wait. Palmer drops to throw. Rifles it across the middle. He's brought down about the 43-yard line. And that one will go for a first. And really top-notch quarterbacks know how to throw a football in there without leading his receiver into trouble. That was a great throw. Blue 38. Blue 38. Here come Barney, Barney. Set. On play action. Passes to his left. What a brutal hit. Pretty risky throw that time, but it worked. So you won't see many complaints. Probably the most dangerous throw in football right there. Anytime you see the quarterback throwing across his body like that, back into coverage, when it works, you go, boy, that looks pretty and that's easy to do and you're always tempted to do it. But how many times have we seen a ball like that picked off? There's a play fake. Short throw to the left. It's incomplete. They went with a sideline pass, but he couldn't stay inbound. And that would have been a spectacular catch if he'd been able to come up with that one. Just thrown a little bit too far outside. Sets up the play action. He makes the catch. A lot of room to run. Knocked out at the 23. Good job to avoid the rush and get the pass off. When you're trying to blitz the quarterback, you better have some talented corners on the outside because as a wideout, just give me three or four seconds against the blitz, and it is awfully tough to try and cover that. Again with the carry. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. That run picked up a yard, maybe less. Man, oh man, that's what those defensive guys live for right there. A shot like that, and then they always get up and have a little something to say to you as you're going back to the huddle. The halfback with the carry. And they get him at the 22. Almost got a yard. And that's why you send all those guys to plug up the holes. And that time there were no holes, really. And he was lucky to get anything on the play. They motion to the left. Palmer takes it back. Deep throw. End zone. Drops the easy pick. And the pass was knocked away at the last minute. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. Kick is up. Well, it looked like the set down was good. Maybe he lost his footing a little when he went to step into that one. You know, if kickers get out of their rhythm just a little bit, they can really miss a kick badly. So the score is still the Steelers 12, the Rams 15. Here's the halfback. Tackled at the 29-yard line. He got what he could, and it wasn't much. That'll bring up second down. The backfield is in the offset I formation. Setting up play action. Strong throw. He's dropped at the 36-yard line. Pretty nice throw on that play. And a pretty good catch on the other end, too. That's one of those plays that's quickly becoming one of the staples in this offensive passing attack. Tiger, 
pretty tight game as we head to the fourth. Our score, the Rams, 15, the Steelers, 12. We've got third and three here. Young on the give. He didn't get back to the line. The defense just ate up that play. Well, those defenders get paid too, and every once in a while they win the battle. Clearly that time they were all over this offensive line. Punts it. And they make the fair catch. They missed the field goal their last time out. Let's see what they can do on this drive. They'll get the ball here at the 35. It's first and 10. Big set this time with two tight ends. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Down at the 37. The running back gains two yards on the carry. Palmer back in the shotgun for this one. Drops back. Surveys the field. Makes the catch. Tackled right around the 34-yard line. A great play by the receiver. Yeah, I don't know about you, Tom, but I've always felt that wide receivers were probably the most underpaid guys in the league. They line up at the 35. Pittsburgh is going with the offset eye backfield. He fakes it. Huge pressure by the defense. That one was way off target. And if you had a guy that big running at you, all you would do is just turn and hide, brother. I know you. They'll go from the I formation. Let's get off this field, man. Set. Blue 11. This, Blue 11. Barney, Barney. Stay outside him. Jackson will run it again. Yes, Drop behind the line. One yard loss for the halfback. I don't think the defense was fooled on that one. <laughs> it was like they were sitting back in the huddle listening in. And they motion a guy to the right. Drops back. Dumps it out right. It's intercepted. And they really could have done without that. Just when you started to think this offense was starting to find themselves, they have a chance here late in the game. You throw an ugly pick. That's a disaster. Game 22 press. Zebra, zebra. Get the ball out. They'll give it off here. And they get him at the 47-yard line. The halfback gets the ball and picks up five. They line up at the 47. They line up in the shotgun, three wide. Again with the carry. He's going to be tackled for a loss. Nowhere to go that time on the delay. The delay can be an awfully pretty play whenever you see a defense being overly aggressive, but this bunch is well coached, well trained. They were looking for it and made the play in the backfield. Luke 45! Wait, wait, wait! Get off, baby, get off! Get off. Hands it off. He's dropped around the 48 yard line. They denied him the first down on that run. Yeah, they were lucky just to get back to the line of scrimmage. I don't like the call when you're in a third down situation. I'm paying the quarterback so much money. He's getting the ball there. He gets it away. Down in the end zone for a touchback. On his last drive, the quarterback completed a pass, but to the other team. Throwing another one could be disastrous to this offense. The Steelers come out in a single back formation. Blue 11. Blue 11. Let's go now. Let's go. 
Left, 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 left. Good. Toby 32, Toby 32, come on now. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Second down and eight. Nickel back in this time. Blue 38. Blue 38, baby. Roger, Roger, Roger. Get him blocked. He drops back to pass. Rockets it out. He's tackled at the 37. These days, you need a back who has good hands. Yeah, running backs today have to be really complete players. You mentioned the fact they have to be able to catch the football and make plays on the outside. But blocking is so key as well. You have to be able to do it all if you're going to be playing halfback in the NFL. On the ground with a tailback. Brought down at the 39-yard line. Gain of two. That brings up second down. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 39. Big set this time with two tight ends. Blue 38. Blue 38. Queen. Hunt. They'll go with the run once again. And they get him at the 44-yard line. They get around five yards from the halfback. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. Nickel package on defense. Come on. Hey, let's go. Yo. Go, baby. Grace line. Grace line. Look at belly flip. Tennessee, Tennessee. Nice play fake. Throws it. Is there for the catch. Tackle at the 41-yard line. Nice job by the quarterback to hit the tight end for a decent game. You know, tight ends may not come up with those real explosive plays down the field all the time, but they sure are a nice target for the quarterback. Let's go right, right, right. Hey, look the stretch, look the stretch. Two minutts remaining in the fourth quarter. First down now and ten to go. Blue 11. Left, Blue left, 11. Left. left smash free. Turn it up. Turn it up. Come on, dog. Let's go. Back to pass. He throws it. Takes the reception. He's brought down at the 31. Pass completed for a gain of nine. That'll bring up second down. The Steelers changing their play at the line. Watch the switch. Drops back to pass. Looks for a man open. Mathis gets the pick. I can't believe that just happened. Are you kidding me? You cannot throw that ball in this situation with the game on the line. That's terrible. They're about to get one. First and ten. Ball on the 45. St. Louis lines up in the offset eye this time. Right, right, left, left, left. 88. Come on, 388. Now you good, you good. On play action. The backer picks it off. To the 20. He makes the catch and is finally brought down after a decent run at the four-yard line. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. 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 Let's go, let's go, They're just inside the five. Palmer is in the shotgun. He has two tight ends in the offense. Back to throw. Passes to the end zone. Tipped pass. And he just managed to get a piece of it. Nice play by the defender. And as a receiver, you really have to do a better job of coming back to the football at that point. You have to help the quarterback. Why, 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 why? 
He scores, and they'll take the lead. It all came together on that. Pretty impressive push that time by the offensive line. It's not often you see a running play pop like that down on the goal line. And they line up for the extra point. And the point after is good. With just over a minute to go in the fourth quarter, the score is the Steelers 19, the Rams 15. He kicks it off. Hall takes it from the 10. Makes a tackle. Hit and dropped at the 35. This is obviously a big possession. They have to get the ball in the end zone right here. Well, this is it. Their last opportunity. The one positive part of this for the offense, though, is that everything becomes four down territory. So typically on offense, you get three downs. Now you get four. He looks to throw on first down with the throw. It's completed. Brought down at the 44-yard line. Nice little pickup on that pass pattern. And I really shouldn't feel this way, but I get a little nervous every time this guy goes up to make a catch, you know, because he's had a little bit of a history of dropping some balls, but today doing a nice job hanging on and a big play there. And they're coming after him. Picked off, and that should do it. A huge interception. That'll cost them the game. And I understand that you have to play for a touchdown in this situation. You have to try to push the ball down the field. But you have to remain patient. You can't try and force it in there. And that's what he did there. First down now and 10 to go. Ball on the 34. They come out with a big set. And they get him at the 34 yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the halfback. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 34 yard line. Jackson lines up as the deep back, I formation. Gets the throw away. Leaping catch. He's dropped at the 21-yard line. That is a big-time pass. Yeah, especially considering that they had the lead, and now they really have the clock and the scoreboard on their side. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The Rams will take their last timeout. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. They go with the kneel down. They'll face a third and 13 situation here. Ball on the 24-yard line. Watch the run now. Watch the run. Barney, Barney. Blue 38. Blue 38. Blue 38. Blue 38. Blue 38. about to cough it up. Hey, watch this, man. Let's go, fellas. Let's go. Learn draw. Come on now. Hurry, hurry. And this was a good one. Our final score is the Steelers 19, the Rams 15.